We're underway in the quarterfinal. Can Ireland lift the quarterfinal? Who do? Or will the All Blacks reassert their World Cup credentials? Loose pass from Aaron Smith. Well picked up by the birthday boy, Arnie Sevilla. New Zealand have a penalty. On his knee and then played the ball. Yeah, good start there from New Zealand. Very, very physical in their eggs at play. Forcing Ireland into the mistake and make no mistake, discipline from both teams will be a key factor. Well, the touch finder from Jordy Barrett didn't go very far, but it will be a New Zealand throw to the line out. And that's Andrew Porter getting pinged on the floor there. Early nerves. Ireland have won five of the last eight against New Zealand. Three or four under head coach Andy Farrell. Another loose pass. This one picks up by Jordy Barrett. Richie Moanga under pressure from Johnny Sexton. Doesn't get much distance on the back high ball. Black. Back off black. Went back off a New Zealand hand. And there was a knock on. I think Wayne Barnes might have got a word from his assistant on the near side, Christoph Ridley. Great pressure though. From Ireland, straight from the line out. Aaron Smith had to get rid of the ball. It was an Aaron pass out to Geordie Barrett, and then a good so first, so first piece of chasing from Johnny height, Sexton. The pressure, Richard Wonga was forced to Aaron kick. Ireland went 111 years without beating New Zealand until Chicago in 2016. Nice and high, nice and high. In 2012, New Zealand beat Ireland 60 points to nil. It's a different picture these days. The team in green, number one in the world. Grand Slam champions and favourites here tonight. Bind. Set. First scrum. Keep high this side, stay in the scrum. Ireland pile on the pressure. It's spun, but it's a New Zealand penalty. Not pushing straight is the call. Number one came across the screen. There we see Andrew Porter was the one man deemed not Quite straight. That's a couple of penalties easy. from the loose end. I know he's frustrated already. Great power though from Ireland. Early warning signs for Ty New Zealand. Green, Here we nice go. Balance. Well, they've been in single-figure penalties, Carl, all tournament long, this Ireland team. Discipline is such a cornerstone of their game, but there's two, two that have gone against them two early on here. Two meters, Dan. An attacking line-out for New Zealand. In his Angela 50th Brown. start for the All Blacks, Cody Taylor throws to Retallick. He comes around the corner, there's Taylor as well, and there's big six-foot-five Geordie Barrett hitting it up hard. Now Adi Savea. He scored three tries in that series, that losing series for New Zealand against Ireland last year. Now the captain, Sam Kane. That's a tap on, let go. Big defence from Ireland. New Zealand pick and go once more. This time it's Tyrell Lomax, just 40 minutes under his belt at this Rugby World Cup. He's had his issues with injury. Here's Jordy Barrett again, couple of early touches for him. Aaron Smith to Ethan De Groot. They're thrilled to have him back after his two-game suspension. There's Rico Ioane. Keeping it narrow here, New Zealand. Counter up from Ireland, and Shannon Frizzell now. And the knee on the floor, let go! Let he go. missed the first couple of games at the tournament. Cody Taylor once more. Here's Will Jordan to Jordy Barrett. Big tackle on him from the former Māori All Black, James Lowe. Taylor again, though. 12 phases now for New Zealand. Frizzell out to Moanga. Will Jordan, Ioane. Can't get the pass away. New Zealand recycle. Switch your play to Frizzell. 14 Tackle phases away. now. More big defence from Good, Ireland. Thank you, Ian. OK, use, please. Ioane. Here's De Groot, just puts that big right oh, hip into the, the tackler. Frizzell out the back to Moanga. Jordan, quick hands to Geordie Barrett. Couple of tacklers on him, he gets through the first one. It was Gary Ringrose. 
Physical stuff early from New Zealand, bossing this game with the pick and go right now. But that defensive Ireland standing firm as well. Leicester Fayanganuku in the 11 shirt. Already 30 tackles from Ireland here. 21 phases for New Zealand. They're edging closer, the All Blacks. Retallic. Stand away, Peter. Brilliant, thank you. Will Jordan hit hard again. Bundy Aki involved. Adi Sarveira again, 25 phases. Retallic coming around the corner. They go the same way, Sam Kane. The green wall of Ireland, standing tall once again. Adi Sarveira tries some footwork this time. Ty Byrne with the tackle for Ireland. Advantage. There's the advantage for New Zealand. The sea of green inside the stadium don't like it. Richie Moana kicks high. James Lowe underneath it. Will Jordan climbed high as well. They will go back for the penalty. Incredible multi-phase rugby to get us started here in the quarterfinal. Oh, well. I think everyone needs a rest after that. 30 phases. That's great continuity from the All Blacks, but equally, that is outstanding defence from Ireland. To be able to repel wave after wave, 30 times from the All Blacks, that's unfortunate. And that tackle that he couldn't roll away, they knew they had a free play. Great start from both teams. 41 tackles in that sequence of play for Ireland. Andy Farrell with Simon Easterby, the defence coach, on his right. Just the decision coming against them at the end of that sequence of play. And here's Richie Moonga. First points to the All Blacks in the quarter-final. New Zealand lead Ireland by three points to nil. And I know New Zealand were looking for a fast start, and they got exactly that off the back of a couple of penalties from Ireland who are very slow to walk back to this kickoff to make that amount of tackles this early is massive. But to hold out and only give away three, you'll be happy with that. Well, it was very Irish in many ways, wasn't it? That's what Ireland have been doing to teams for the best part of a couple of years. Milking penalties with multi-phase rugby. Rico Ioane, who was heavily involved, as was his midfield partner, Jordy Barrett, in that. 30 phase okay, take a step sequence back. for New Zealand. And they'll carry out of their own 22 again. Shannon Frizzell. And use it, please. Aaron Smith, he's got Bowden Barrett okay, in the pocket, but he kicks himself. Ireland allow the ball to bounce. But it does fall into the hands of a green shirt. And now, Ireland can play out the back from Henderson to Sexton. Bundy Arkey, who's been absolutely extraordinary at this World Cup for Ireland, leading all attacking stats at this World Cup. Long pass out to Gary Ringrose from Johnny Sexton. And he has to get involved in the breakdown as well, and Ireland now get a penalty. Yeah, equally so with the Irish penalty, Adi Savia committing the same offence, but I like the way Ireland are looking to shift it to the edge and shift it quickly. Couple of hit-ups in the midfield, then they go wide, and this is the difference in this current Irish group. They are going for the corner, and I love it. Oh, the crowd loves it too, that corner of the stadium just going up, clapping the decision. Well, you could hear the roar, Lou, couldn't you, when they won the penalty in the first place? And an even bigger one, where Jonathan Sexton kicked to the corner. Well, here's Dan Sheehan, two tries against Scotland in their final pool game last week. He's won all 12 of his line-out throws so far at this tournament. But not that one. Brody Retallick, however, it's back into Irish hands. A bit of fortune there for Ireland. Here's Ty Byrne, 
Three tries in his last four test matches. Jamison Gibson Park to Hugo Keenan gets the ball away to James Lowe. It's slightly behind him. Can't hold on. And it's gone over the sideline. So slightly inefficient there from Ireland. Both at the original line out and then with the final ball. They still look dangerous though. He nearly got on the outside. If that goes to hand, not saying that James Lowe will get over, but he's so dangerous in these situations. Thank you. Just the difference in attitude and the Two quickness meters. that they're shifting the ball to the edge. Very apparent, Ireland. Four times he played for the Māori All Blacks. A penny for his thoughts watching the Haka tonight. Cody Taylor. Scott Barrett's the target, finds him. Aaron Smith to Savair again. This New Zealand number Hello. eight, he's made that shirt his own. That void that needed to be okay, filled after the retirement of Kieran Reid. Yep. Aaron Smith kicks long off the base this time, and Lowe has it. Now Hugo Keenan. Such an exciting player. He started all 35 of his 35 test matches for Ireland. Caelan oh, Doris hit on. hard, but fortunately falls Jackson into the hands of Jamison Gibson Park. He's kicked down to Moanga. Oh. Hansen on the chase, Bowden Barrett. Finds touch, but Ireland can go quickly if they want to. Jamison Gibson Park will hold on. Interesting to note, too, the All Blacks are using Aaron Smith a lot more on their exit plays from the restart. Something they haven't predominantly used during this tournament. So obviously something that they've highlighted pre-game that that's where they want to release from. Aaron Smith, so experienced. Well, what a career he has had, Aaron Smith. A little word here, Andrew Porter and Dan Sheehan. They've had their issues, they line out time. Last one, Brody Rittenick was able to get up and disrupted. They need a clean one here. Well, they lost five earlier on in the game against South Africa here a few weeks ago. They recovered well from that to find a solution and win the game. And Peter Omani has won it for them. Bundy Aki, who is number eight, Kalen Doris, who's playing so well at the moment that Jack Conan can't get in the team. But New Zealand have stolen the ball. And it's Artie Savea who comes up with the goods. Well, he's in the mood tonight, isn't he? Artie Savea, we just saw a nice bullocking run in his own 22 now over that ball. And the defence has been very staunch from New Zealand already. They know they can't allow this Irish team to run over the top of them. Looks like Jordy Barrett's going to go to the sideline. Look at them here. Sam Kane with the shoulder, the leg drive, and the support just doesn't get there. It's half a second slow, and Artie Savia right on it. Can I give you that as well? I don't know, just on the floor. Thank you. Well, the difference in attitude, Rupert. New Zealand taking their points on offer. We saw a moment earlier, Ireland going to the corner. Two different attitudes from both of these sides at the moment. Well, Jordy Barrett often called just upon for the long pitcher. ranges. Perfect. You on your feet. Career test right. kick, 70 of 92, 76 percent. Just to the right of the posts. 49 and a half meters out. He's given it a huge reef. That's Jordy Barrett. And New Zealand have their second penalty of the quarter-final. They lead Ireland 6-0. Well, he's the guy with the one with Jordy Barrick. He takes all the long ranges. His first couple of kicks didn't go well off the boot. That one very different. New Zealand deserve the six-point lead. Well, I doubt they could have hoped for a better start here, Carl Tanana, to be able to have repelled Ireland having kicked to the corner with their penalty opportunity to have two of their own, and they've got possession here off the restart. It was a short restart no from Sexton. No, no. Ireland were looking Jordan, to chase no, that down. Smith back Take to Moanga. Hold forwards. Those yep. two will be heading to Japan off. after this Rugby World Cup. So many frontline New Zealand players will be leaving the programme at the end of this tournament, but they want to keep going. Here's Andrew Porter. Just missed it. Out the back from Sexton to 
Keenan, and here's Mac Hansen, who gets a lovely inside ball to Jamison Gibson Park. Gary Ringrose now, who's been out on the right wing a couple of times. Sexton once more, looks for the inside man. He finds Andrew Porter. Slow ball for Ireland. Here's Doris out the back to Arkey. Now Henderson, the big Ulsterman. Cut out Almani to James Lowe. Bowden Barrett does the tackling. Henderson out the back to Sexton. Josh van der Fleer with his carry. Sexton again. Keenan, the dummy. Can't get the hands free. Ireland edging closer. Sexton again. Van der Fleer. Mac Hansen. That right calf heavily strapped. Switch of play from Gibson Park and putting his head down is Big Ian Henderson. Gibson Park's being wrapped up here and Retallick goes in for the steal and he's won it for New Zealand. Brody Retallick. And that's been put over the sideline. Once again, Ireland come knocking and New Zealand find a way to keep them out. You'll just slow your own ball down then. I think it was Jameson Gibson Parker was looking for the penalty there. There was a New Zealand player. Mate, you can play that ball away. You're leaving your hands on it and it's on top of the player's chest. Well, play it quick. It was at the side of the ruck. He's still arguing with the referee, Wayne Barnes. I thought he had a case to be fair. But still, Ireland on attack. Sheehan to Henderson, Gibson Park to low at first receiver. Bundyaki shows and goes into contact. Here's Dan Sheehan, this young Tyra of a hooker for Ireland. Van der Fleer, current World Rugby Player of the Year. New Zealand looking for a steal once more. They've got another one. The All Blacks. Seven is on his feet. We'll In control of the breakdown this time, the captain. Well, he got isolated, didn't he? Van der Fleer. He hit a nice line, he hit it hard, but he had no support players there because Ireland had to commit numbers to the previous ruck. And at the moment, the All Blacks are winning the turnover battle. That's normally where Peter Omani, Josh Van der Fleer and Caelan Dor Doris dominate. Well, there's often a lot of talk about Sam Kane. And his place in this New Zealand side, but never from inside the All Blacks camp. He's first on the team sheet every single time, and there's a reason why. And it's very apparent, the All Blacks, their tackle height, Shannon Frizzell goes low, so that allowed Sam Kane to challenge for that ball. A line out inside Irish territory, down to Aaron Smith. Sheehan was told to step back there for fear of being offside. Another kick. From the base from Aaron Smith, this one a little long and taking I mean, the mark is James Lowe. That huge left boot of James Lowe, but Richie Moanga has read that really well for New Zealand. Inside to Bowden Barrett. Both Are Irish wingers back, the 50-22's not on, but the chip and chase might be, and Bowden Barrett's there, and he regathers, hit hard by James Lowe. Still on for the All Blacks, here's Jordy Barrett. Leicester Fanga Nuku. And New Zealand are in. Leicester, Fayangonuku, in just his seventh test match, has a fifth test try. Oh, the young bull will get the five points, but it was the old boy at the back, Bowden Barrett, with the opportunity to chip and chase, saw the space, and the way he commits it is he knows he's going to cop a shot from James Lowe, totally legal, and then the All Blacks, quick ball shifted, Jordy Barrett with the straight, and timing of the pass was brilliant, this to find the Nuku stays in support, New Zealand get it started. Well, they get it started and they also win the first 20 minutes of this game well and truly, don't they? I spoke to Ian Foster, the All Blacks coach, before the game about the importance of that and he said both teams obviously looking for a fast start, but the All Blacks the ones doing it at the moment and the Irish fans in this stadium don't quite know what, don't quite know what to do right now. Well, and what a story it was during the week with Mark Talia being scratched for disciplinary reasons, breaking a team curfew. Leicester Fyanganuku brought in 
and he has a try. 11-0, New Zealand lead, and the conversion to come. Moana from wide out, and the flags are up. It is all going the All Blacks way right now. New Zealand 13, Ireland nil. We've got to take your opportunities. The first couple of kicks weren't very good from the All Blacks, but that one was. There's been a lot of talk about Bowden Barrett, but he has been outstanding for this All Black team the last 12 months, and that's the flying Anuku is in some form. He's off to too long after this World Cup. He'll be ineligible for the All Blacks next season. He runs straight across his line. Here's your penalty. Well, you heard okay, Wayne Barnes, go obstruction is the call, and Ireland have a penalty. What will they do here? Looked at him and knocked him out the way. Number six. Well, there's nothing wrong with taking the points here, okay. just to get something on. It's a smart, smart call from the go skipper. Go. And to be fair, the referee's been very clear on these types of situations all tournament long. You can't change the line. Running back in the straight line is fine, but just watch them here on the lift up. Bowden Barrett comes up. And see the change line there from Shannon Frizzell, number Sorry, six. Second. Can't do that. Yeah, no way. Just give a couple. Of... Fellas. You can fellas, see Sam Kane Kobe, there. He's having quite a word to Frizzell. Just keep your eye on the ball, he said. And keep north south. Well, Johnny Sexton, who earlier in the tournament became the all time leading point scorer for Ireland, taking over Ronan O'Gara, has a chance here to get Ireland on the board. to settle Irish nerves. Yeah, Johnny Sexton with those first points for Ireland. Interesting hearing him talk about the mental battle that they've been working on, the mental game for them in the last four years. They've put ourselves in different scenarios to prepare for situations like this. You wonder what's going through their minds right now. Bowden Barrett gets us back underway. Well read by Kaylin Doris. It went just over the lifted player. Off your feet now. No, go up. Sexton to Porter. They're going to run it out here, Ireland. Ring rose to low. Again, that Garrett big left boot of his does the clearance kicking. Bowden Barrett inside to Moanga this time. He's going to kick and chase. Keenan's underneath it. Moanga can't get there. Yes, he can. He Tackles him right round the bootlace as Retallick comes eh? piling in. Got to be careful, Played leaving your feet. By four, hit by four off the ball, yeah. They work the short side island of Bundy Arke. Big tackle on him from Richie Moana, much smaller man. Porter. Double try scorer against New Zealand in that series win down south last Stop, year. But... Yeah, sorry, uh, did, did you not hear me? It was, it was um, Retallick. Another penalty me? here going hear Ireland's way. Up. Okay, I've lost all comms. Just one second, please. Well, we heard the TMO card who came in about the retallic clear out. I'm not sure Wayne yeah. Barnes did. No, he's just going to get it all sorted here. But they have to be hooked up with his assistant referees to make sure we get everything this and as well as the TMO. It's it. hugely important. Yeah, okay, so I can mention to him it would have been a penalty. This is a better penalty. Can you press the button and talk to me, please? So here's the shot from Richie Moonga. On Bundy Arke. Well, there's a lot of Irish fans in the set the Bronx tonight. Perhaps not as much as last week, Carl, but I reckon a good 20 or 1,000 or so. They didn't like that replay, the tackle on Bundy Arke. No clear head on that contact in case they ask. So, two things, Johnny. You were played off the ball there, so but you've got a better penalty oh, advantage. Nice yeah. We've cleared that. There's no head contact on 12. We've looked at that. So, the penalty is here. And, uh, we don't need you. Upstairs, help We've got, we've got someone in the background saying there's clearly not. So. Yeah, I, I think we move on now. If you're going to worry it's about it's things you can't control, it's going to take you of your game. So 
And I don't think the water bottle boys should be talking to the referee either. OK, must have you all back, fellas. Yeah. Well, that's John Fogarty down there, the uh, Ireland scrum coach carrying the water, and he's Just had a give chat. Space, fellas. But Ireland have kicked deep through Sexton, and they got an attacking line-out. There's the momentum track. It was all black to get us started, and, well, Ireland have found the their way into the contest. Steal at the line out from New Zealand. Charge down kick. Play on, says the referee. Who wants it? Ireland have it. Tyg Byrne. Kalen Doris can't hold on. And again. Flick back to low. Ball's out of that breakdown. And Henderson is hit by Shannon Frizzell. There was a bit of rain earlier today here in Paris, in the north of the city. Perhaps and a little moisture still on the ball. A couple of passes going to ground. Here's Sexton. Ringrose. Keenan almost threw a gap. Gets the ball away. Sexton hacks it on. Moanga is there. Go as on, is Geordie Barrett. Well, these little tip ons are serving them well at the moment for Ireland. A couple of half holes are starting to emerge in the All Black defense. Well, you get a chance to grab James Lowe. Ask him to place the ball towards his nine, not straight into the player who's nowhere near the ball. There's one thing Wayne Barnes, the referee, is known for, which is communication. He is a barrister. Clear instructions to the players. Here's Kalen Doris again. Change of direction as well to give some park to... The Wexford Bull. Ty Furlong. Little switch of play just behind the breakdown. That was intricate from Ireland. Hugo Keenan was the second ball carrier. Here's Henderson. Van der Fleer. Sexton. Arkey. He's got support with him. Decides to hold on. Leads all players at the tournament for carries and defenders beaten. Advantage, advantage Ireland. Penalty advantage, Johnny. Free hit here for Ireland. Here's Mac Hansen. He sets off. That calf's looking okay at the moment. Sheehan now. Ringrose. Doris Sexton. Keenan. Hugo Keenan, so silky. Good tackle on him from Cody Taylor. Furlong. Just a collision, stand up, nothing wrong. There's Ten points the difference here, out. there's Van der Fleer. He's hit more offensive rucks than any player at the Rugby World Cup. Peter Amahani. James Lowe, long ball to Bundyaki. Dummy steps, Bundyaki! Aki's in! Rugby World Cup, Bundy Aki has Ireland's first try. Again, the way they attack out the back door, Ireland always asking questions. And look at the footwork from Bundy Aki, that's the first back ball. There's the missed pass, there's the right step, there's the second one. And look at that power to finish from Bundy Aki. Oh, he's incredible, isn't it? He's been responsible for so much of this Irish attack, making a tournament high 61 carries, 33 dominant carries, 23 defenders beaten, and a team high five offloads and nine line breaks coming into this game, and he's adding to that tonight. Incredible story, Bundy Aki, Super Rugby winner with the Chiefs. Went to Connacht in West Ireland in 2014. A try against New Zealand, converted by Johnny Sexton. It's a three-point ball game. Oh, it's a difficult ball to take, too. Look at the way he has to reach up, come back down, right foot step, right foot step, and then put the power on, unstoppable. 
in that position. Bundy Aki. Oh, joy to watch when he's in this mood. He's become a cult hero. Time you run, time you Just run, outside Galway. He's got a burger named after him, the Bundy Burger. I like it. Give me two. With cheese. Inside. Big hit on Keenan. Ringrose, though, it opens up for the centre. Mate, you tackled the Huge shift in momentum this game, it feels like here. Forwards hold. Harlan kick to Bowden Barrett, who's already retrieved one of his own chips in this game. This one high, low back, but Barrett bangs it down to Aaron Smith. Good work again from the New Zealand World Cup winner, Bowden Barrett. Moanga, Will Jordan, Sam Kane, dummies. He's got Fyanga Nuku with him. Good carry from the New Zealand captain. Every time the ball goes on the floor, this huge island contingent in the crowd seems to cheer for an island penalty, not forthcoming. Moanga. Scott Barrett, ball goes behind his big brother Bowden, scoops it up, puts it on the left peg. Finds some green space as well, Hugo Keenan. Just hold, just gets hold. good distance with his kick, but once again, Moanga well placed. And here's some space for Will Jordan. Will he take on the Irish defence? He does so, but it's a good tackle. Frizzell. Moanga, he's going to chip over the top again. Adi Savaya is on the chase, and he has it, the New Zealand number eight. Finds the offload as well to Retallick. Quick release from Smith to Scott Barrett. Here's Will Jordan. Josh van der Fleer. Oh, was it Caelan Doris over there, ball? New Zealand hot on the attack. Probably needed to be shifted one more pass. Jordan decided to take it into contact. And that was lightning quick from Caelan Doris over there, ball. Carl, this is different gravy tonight, isn't it? You are watching two elite rugby nations going at it here with the ball, without the ball. This is world-class stuff. Oh, heavyweights, aren't they? Absolute heavyweights. And not very often when you have a build-up, which has been to the forefront of this Lanzo, game, New does Zealand. it meet the hype? The but this game has so far. Look at that! Yeah, man, I think you just Good I think chop tackle, ball, great it's over the ball. Like this is me. the initial Ethan. break, and Adi Savia collects it beautifully under duress. But this is top shelf stuff. Well, at the island captains run yesterday, the starting 15 Two meters, on second. defense were practicing retrieving those chips over the over the top. So perhaps expecting it. That's a loose line out there again from Ireland, the second of the game, slightly high arm. Yes, it is a high tackle, just a penalty. Advantage penalty. There you go, the voice of Tom Foley. And they're looking for a 50-22 here in New Zealand, and they're going to get it as well. 50-22 was a high tackle. I like that, though. Leave the penalty alone, play what this is. Great work. No, again, line cleared. out troubles. No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. For Ireland, I thought it was tapped off. Brody Retallick, but it wasn't. Good call from Wayne Barnes. Well, they're all having a word, the Irish at the officials here. Yeah, no worries. And it was well, New Zealand way, have really rated their the rolling ball. more. That's something they've worked on since Ireland beat them at home. Interesting what they go to here. They go to Savair at the front. Retallick has it, but they play off quickly through Smith. Geordie Barrett to Rico Ioane, looking for his first try Set against Ireland. Thanks, Bundy. Sam Kane puts the head down. Kane! Almost no, there. No, 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 you're off your feet. Off your feet. <laughs> Smith advantage to Scott Barrett. Outside. Advantage New outside. Zealand. They've got a free hit here. Will Jordan. Rico Ioane. Adi Savaya. The birthday boy. With a try for the All Blacks in the quarterfinal. Well, they shaped to drive, then they shifted the point of attack quickly to the midfield, got quick ball, forced a penalty advantage, and from there shifted back to the blind, and Adi Savia 
has played an outstanding 33 minutes and 29 seconds so far. Something yep, the skipper legend with. Richie McCaw will be very happy with. Here they are. Sam Kane with a low leg drive. Got some help by Shannon Frizzell. And then look at this. Tries good. Pass, pass, pass. Nothing wrong with that. All good. I've had some. Maybe somewhat stronger at half time. Oh, we talked about the importance yeah. of the start and the, the importance that the All Blacks put on it as well. You know what, KT, they always put importance on that lead up to the halftime break as well. We might be seeing that happen here. Bernardi Savaya wanting to prolong his All Black career. He, along with Moanga, Aaron Smith, Bowden Barrett, Ritalik and Frizzell all heading to Japan after this tournament. Richie Moanga just slides by. It remains 18-10 to New Zealand. Or Rico Ioane was the one with the try assist. Look at this beautiful pass from him. He receives it here. Quick tip on. Good positioning in Adi Savia. He is legit. Yeah, scored a couple of tries. That timing's brilliant, Hugo. Perfect timing. Against Ireland in the first test, which New Zealand won at Eden Park last year, before Ireland did two on the bounce for their first ever series win. In New Zealand. And here's Mac Hansen, Australian born. Irish mother. Sexton to Van der Fleer. Hugo Keenan again, the fullback getting involved once more. Dan Sheehan out the back to Sexton. Here's Hansen once more. That familiar white head gear he's since had a haircut. Those long flowing locks no longer coming out the back of it. Sexton again. Keenan. Van der Fleer. Good tackle from Will Jordan. Good momentum though for Ireland. Final five minutes we're into here of this first half of this Rugby World Cup quarter-final, the winner will play Argentina here in this stadium next Friday. James Lowe shooting out of line for New Zealand was Jordy Barrett. Hansen's there, flings it in field. Put his arm out, hit the arm, stop the pass. Just a penalty to deliver it. Reach his arm out. No worries, no worries. A couple of ex-Chiefs teammates here talking to each other. Brody Retellick, James Lowe. Okay? Looks like there was a de Bundy, deliberate knock-on. Deliberate knock-on. I'm going to show you an angle which shows you the cover situation. So there might be a bit more on this. So live, I've got number nine just putting his arm out. He's beaten. So um, that's why it's a penalty. So he's hit his arm and gone forward. Yeah, we're going to show you the deliberate knock-on first. Thank you. And then we'll show you the cover situation for everything thereafter, OK? Thanks very much. Uh, the deliberate knock-on's coming now. That's Tom Foley, the television match official. Here's the deliberate knock-on. OK, so he's stuck his arm out, he's beaten. So we're on a penalty, and but now, now we need to... the situation now, here we go, this is the best. OK, so we've got a decent opportunity of a, of a line break. And though there is a defender covering, so it's nothing Correct. more, but it is a yellow card, yeah? It is, yeah. OK. Aaron Smith heads to the sin bin for 10 minutes. Well, this has been the All Blacks problem in big games, not being able to keep 15 players onto the park. Three and a half minutes out from the half. Whenever you're ready, you okay? Come your way, big, Matt. big call, but the right one. It was deliberate. He put his hand out on purpose. You can't do that. And Sexton, 15 on 14, will kick to the corner once more. Now here we go, here's the pressure. Nothing Excellent. fancy, but they've had their line out woes. Hansen injecting themselves, looking for the inside pass. And there's the direct deliberate stop with the ball and handout. Instinctive Who's from there, Smith, but five. the players know Two meters, Josh. the law interpretation. Well, Two here meters. are Ireland Cody. looking to close the gap before half time. Omahani wins it at the front. That's a better line out. Sheehan has it at the back. 
Gibson Park plays to Arkey, already a try in this quarter-final. Out the back to Sexton to Ringrose. Counter up from New Zealand. And it's another penalty against them offside. And again, Johnny Sexton will set up an attacking lineout. As I said, the counter rack was fine. Well, the ball has to be behind the last feet for it to be out. So that's the interpretation. He can't pick it up until it's out of the ruck. Ireland penalty, Ireland attacking line out once more. Again, Omani. Again. The catch and drive. Yes. And that's once. Gibson Park arrives and he plays. Gibson Park dummies and goes. And he scores. Jamison, Gibson Park, once a Māori All Black, now a try scorer for Ireland against New Zealand. When was a try scored, Jack? They left half a hole. Did the All Black, so Māori takes it brilliantly, they have numbers and even Bundy Aki decided to get in. They went a little bit too far to Will Jordan and he gets over. Try is good, Wayne. Pretty clear from that angle. Great strength from the little halfback. Yeah, nothing wrong yeah, with that. Thanks, Tommy. No, no. Thanks, Tommy. Well, it didn't take long for that. Aaron Smith yellow card to end up in points for Ireland. This to close the game to one point. Johnny Sexton raises the flags at the Stade de France. And the number one team in the world that will be appointed New Zealand. On well, the fans here in the crowd breathing a sigh of relief that that scoreline looks a lot better now at halftime as well. It was interesting hearing from Tag Byrne during the week just how he's absolutely loving all the support that they've been getting here. All the people travelling across from Ireland for all their games. But tonight being here for them pretty, is something pretty special. Paul O'Connell and Simon needs to be there alongside Andy Farrell. Thrilled about that try for Ireland. Clock's in the red. This will be the final play of the first half. No, don't go in that. Andrew Porter. Back in the pocket to Sexton. He's happy for them to take their medicine of a one-point difference. And head to half time. What a half it has been. It has swung this way and that. An incredible beginning from the All Blacks. But Ireland have started to flex their muscles like the number one team in the world they are. New Zealand 18, Ireland 17 at half time. And we're back underway. Bowden Barrett, New Zealand now right to left, playing with 14. Aaron Smith in the sim bin for a further five minutes. Bundy Aki, Inside. first half try scorer. Along with Jamison okay, now, Gibson careful. Park for Ireland. And use it, please. OK, thanks. And Gibson Park does kick off the base to Bowden Barrett. Gets the offload to Leicester, Fyanga Anuku, who scored a try for New Zealand early in this test match. Moanga there. Playing it at scrum half for Smith with the kick. Gibson Park in a wrestling match here with Will Jordan. It's fallen on New Zealand's side to find Anuku, but no, Van der Fleer smuggles it away. Tight furlong, Ireland are going to play. Now they kick. Hugo Keenan goes deep to Bowden Barrett. Inside. And Bowden Barrett will kick it. 
over the advertising hoardings and get a few more seconds off that Simbin clock. Yeah, New Zealand using the kick in different variations to test Ireland there. That was a box kick from the number 10, Moonga. Makes it come in line just to find the nuclear side, but good steal for Van der Flit. Well, the fields of Athen right, which drowned out the Haka before kickoff, rings around the Stade de France once again. Omani wins the line out. Sexton to Doris to Hansen, kick it ricochets though off Jordy Barrett. And New Zealand have the ball. And when you've got a player in the sim bin, that's exactly what you want. Now the counter up from Ireland. It's a counter up. Shannon Frizzell. These New Zealand loose forwards really need to muscle up now. Jordy Barrett, the high cross kick. Fanganuku brings it down for New Zealand. Brilliant work from the left winger. Tyrell Lomax, rugby league convert. And tackle, let go. No, second money. There's Mawanga again in at scrum half. Back in the pocket to Geordie Barrett. He kicks again. <laughs> Bowden Barrett. Works the chip and chase once more. His brother Geordie's there. So is James Lowe, though. Backwards. Can't take it cleanly, but goes backwards. Sheehan, Sexton, Ringrose to Hansen. Mac Hansen with the chip and chase. Just bounces over the sideline. Little bit of New Zealand throw to the line out. New Zealand just trying to play slow here at the moment and eat time off the clock. Only got two and a half minutes to repel here. Yeah, there's a 50-22. Interestingly, Matt Carley's been overruled here. There will be an Ireland throw to the line out. 50-22 is called. New Zealand can test the line out again. It was Frizzell going up, but Ireland bring it down. Here's Bundy Aki who thunders into Fanganuku. Gibson Park kicks high in the direction of Peter Omahani. Omahani goes forward off the big number six. Knock on by Peter. That's actually a smart play though. Physically, Omahani is a lot bigger than Richie Moonga. It is. I like the tactic. You see, he's coming from outside and he's actually got the line. We did. Unlucky there, Ireland, but inventive. Yeah, they've done their homework, haven't they? You often we see thought, Richie Moran. Right standing deep on defence. Okay, yeah, he usually defends on the wing, and in that situation, they knew that, so they try to get scrum, their so physical mismatch. Again. Nice height. Smart play. Nice balance. Yep. Go straight, not through. There you go, you can see the, the Simbin clock counting down. A minute to go. He's desperate to get back out there, Aaron Smith. I think, what I think is going to be the difference in this whole game group is the bench. The bench is going to be absolutely massive for both teams. The All Blacks have had to scramble already. You can't underestimate the toll that'll take on them. So yeah, No changes so far. And Richie Moanga now. Not so used to doing this in a test match. Certainly not going to World Cup quarter-final, feeding a scrum. Set. Keep high, keep high. Efficiently done, though, from New Zealand. Jordy Barrett. Not now. Brother Bowden oh. back in the pocket. Five stops. Kicks deep, Mac Hansen's underneath it. They're going to go quickly, and why not? Still with a one-player advantage. Swung wide to Ringrose. Changes direction and then thunders into the New Zealand line. It was Sam Kane with the... Tackle, here's Arky again, that delayed pass from Sexton, such a quintessential part of his game. Van der Fleer, out the back again to Sexton. Keenan, ball over the top to James Lowe. 
Wouldn't he love to Falling score player. against Falling the All Blacks? Player. Sexton. Van der Fleer. Porter hit hard by Frizzell. New Zealand Not work now. the counter up. Ireland maintain the ball. Tyke burn out to Hanson. They're going to kick again. It's Dan Sheehan on the chase. Dan Sheehan just bounced a little too high. But again, realising on their side of the park, New Zealand were exposed. This is the first initial break on the far side, just to spread the field. Nothing wrong with that. That's legal as. And New Zealand negotiated now. They're five and a half minutes. They're back up to their 15. But again, even if they don't get it, it is going to be New Zealand under pressure. Well, I reckon if that was a little lower, I'm not sure Geordie Barrett would have got that. Andy Farrell, head in hands. Uh, no, I thought you stayed in a contest. Seven points. Can we just back off a little Was the bit damage for point? New Zealand while they were down to okay, 40 men as Aerosmith comebacks onto the field? Well, they can ill afford to lose anybody else. It was what really did for them in the series down in New Zealand last year. They went down to 13 twice in the second test in Dunedin. That's what really cost them. Conversation between Ian Foster and Joe Schmidt there. These have been pretty clean. For the majority of this game, scrum time. A couple early for Ireland. They got pinged on, but otherwise, very good. Ethan De Groot there on the loose head side. Set. Up against Tyke Furlong. Keep high. Tyke Furlong played in all five Irish wins against New Zealand. And again, they win the penalty. We saw that early in the first half. That'll help them exit from their 22. Oh, you can feel the momentum building in the All Black front eight. hips have gone out. Went backwards, your hips went Andrew out. Andrew Porter one. again, the loose head. The one targeted by the assistant referee. He's not happy, is he? He said, we we had the pressure on him. They stood up. That was what was Andrew, Andrew Porter was saying to Wayne Barnes. It'll be interesting on the replay. He's been good. Andrew Porter. It's on this near side. So look at the power come on. He's actually bored in there. So that's why, in front of Wayne really Bart, easy call. Yeah, it's, it's identical to the penalty in the first half, isn't it? Yeah, Cody Taylor was in the air, but... Hold two. Yeah, he was high, Andrew, but perhaps not pushing straight, son. Beyond 15. Frizzell wins it at the back for New Zealand. Good drive this Keep from the All Blacks. That's one. Still edging forward. Now they play. Moanga or Ioane. Good tackle from Porter on the centre. No, don't touch him. Cody Taylor, you can hear the contact. Audio. Let him go. Coming through the effects, Mike's this Irish defence. Jordy Barrett. Switcher play to Retallick. Fanga Anuku again gets away from the first defender. He is taking his chance tonight. Is Lester Fanga Anuku carried on again? No. Echo. Andrew Porter's got to be careful no there. Here's Scott Mr. Barrett. Ball. Off your feet. Bowden Barrett. Shannon Frizzell. Tackle. Aaron Smith steps. Almost through a half gap. Scott Barrett now. Huge defence on him from Furlong and Omani. Here's Adi Sarvea. Off your feet now, Andrew. Porter Ball again down. digging for the steal. Yes, please. Coming around the corner is Shannon Frizzell. He's hit hard by Josh van der Fleer. No lift, no lift. You're off your feet. 12 phases for the All Blacks. Sam Kane. No, second go. No. Moanga. Bowden Barrett. Furlong again. Ball was out. And the ball's ball out, out, and Porter's onto ball it like a flash. Out. And here come Ireland, Arke. Flicked on by Ringrose brilliantly. Keenan to James Lowe. Ireland spring into life. Kalen Doris. Hansen to Furlong. Change of direction from Gibson Park. Ringrose, Keenan, Van der Fleer, low. 
Gary Ringrose again at first receiver. Kalen Doris holds on. Tyrell Lomax with the tackle. Here's Sexton. Ringrose dummies and goes. Puts the head down. Looking for the turnover. New Zealand, they don't get it. Chop tackle from Retallick, and they do get the steal, New Zealand. And it's Adi Sarvea once more. Superhuman at the moment, the, the number eight for the All Blacks. Adi Sarvea has skippered the All Blacks this year. He's become a real leader. And his play has just taken off to the next level. Adi Sarvea. There's another look at it. That strong right arm of Adi Sarvea. Big brother Julian, of course, won it. World Cup in 2015. Here's the other initial break from Ireland. Great hands. They did well to secure this ball because he was isolated there low. I've been very impressed today. The way Ireland shift the ball so quickly in their point of attack. Yeah, change here too for Ireland. Furlong is off and Finlay Bielan is on in the 18 jersey. 52 minutes in, Tyke Furlong replaced by Finlay Bielan. Furlong please, was heavily line, influential in that last okay, sequence of play, line, please, both defensively and with the ball in hand, but I'm not sure he looked too pleased to be leaving the field at this back, stage of the game. I told you the bench is going to be so Thank impactful you. when the coach decide to use it. Finlay Bielan. And Richie Moanga for New Zealand. He's got Will Jordan with him. Will Jordan! Try New Zealand! His 28th try. In his 29th test match, Mr. Prolific does it again. Look at this from Richie Moonga. The way he just eats up space, he uses the ball to freeze the defence and he goes straight hard at James Lowe who was waiting for the defence to come across the jockey, but they come too late. Will Jordan is an absolutely pure try scorer. Aaron Smith back off the Simbin and New Zealand go to work with the attacking game. Look at the way he just uses the ball there to get Van der Flair flat-footed. Richie Moonga. When he needed the most, the All Blacks, he has stepped up in an important time. Just an extraordinary try scorer, this young man, Will Jordan. Just 25 years of age. And what an assist from Richie Moanga. 23-17, kick to come. Geordie Barrett has taken this way back. Geordie Barrett, brilliant kick from the sideline. New Zealand up to 25. Oh, we saw how excited the uh, New Zealand coaching staff were. The All Blacks bench just as excited as well. And uh, KT, you spoke about the importance of the replacements. They are getting busy on the All Blacks bench, getting warm, getting ready to come on. So we wouldn't be surprised if we see some changes shortly. Remember that come off the turnover from Adi Savia deep in their own 22. This guy here, Sam Whitelock, he'll be introduced soon. 150 caps. Sam Whitelock, all time record for New Zealand. Just I'll take a step, please, Doug. Thank you. Bowden Barrett puts it over the sideline, and a hush has descended around the Stade de France. The Sea of Green now coming to life, trying to will on their side. Louise Ransom spoke about what Johnny Sexton was talking about, the mental toughness, being able to get back from these situations. This is the moment right now. He has to lead. He has to keep his troops on point. Don't go away from the plan. Don't flinch. Couple of line-out turnovers from the All Blacks in the first half. Well, Ireland bring this one down. Here's Aki. James Lowe off his left wing to Keenan. Chips through. Mack Hansen on the chase. Barrett's there. 
Oh, Bowden Barrett does brilliantly to spin on an axis and then put it over the sideline. Well, there was a lot of talk about Bowden Barrett and why he should be in the 15 jersey. Because in World Cups, okay, you need shot, experience man, like man, he's got. He's not the two-time World Player of the Year for no reason. And look at this, Mac Hansen in that incident. He's getting some attention now. There he is on the floor. The Irish right winger under a big injury concern coming in, went off early last week against Scotland. Right calf heavily strapped. This could be bad news for Ireland. In front of you too, Luke. He does not look good, does he? No, he's been down for a while, getting attention now from the medical staff. So uh, I'll watch that closely. They're taking a little bit of a break to, to see how he is. But they've played so many minutes, this Irish side as well. They've been lucky to keep this team quite consistent throughout the tournament, but perhaps we're getting to the point where those bodies are just breaking down ever so slightly. Well, it's been a World Cup to say where the crowds have come in and their thousands of this guy here, he has been fantastic in this campaign for Ireland. There is potentially the guy that could replace the Rupert. Well, and he's making his World Cup debut as well, Jimmy O'Brien. What a time to do it in a World Cup quarter-final. Okay. One second, let's just get him changed. Yeah, so Mac Hansen getting the headgear strap off, coming off the field, and that change will now happen. Now it is Jimmy O'Brien coming onto the field for Mac Hansen. That's what it looked like from where I was standing. So if you can go backwards and then come back and rather than those hits coming out. Just his eighth cap, Jimmy O'Brien. Okay. All right then, let's get these gaps here. What a time to have to sit through the pool stages, but huge disappointment for Mac Hansen. He was doubtful. Okay, Saw him at the captain's run yesterday. Gotta say he didn't look 100 okay, percent And he's lasted 55 minutes here. Looks quite devastated as well, walking down that tunnel. His uh, facial expression not good. Yeah, you would be, wouldn't you? Here's Jimmy O'Brien, early touch for him, the number 23. Gibson Park, long ball over the top. It's been picked off by Aaron Smith. Brave from the New Zealand scrum half, given he went to the sin bin for a deliberate knock-on in the first no, too half. Long, too long. All Blacks have the ball back. Two-score game. OK, that's not enough now. Andrew, that's enough. And use it. It's not that. Just hold. And Smith, we've seen a lot of this tonight. Kicks again high off the base. Fyanga Anuku on the chase. Back off black. Back off black. Back off black. You heard the referee pretty clear. Ireland can play. Here's Henderson. Shifts it to Sheehan. Sexton. Keenan. Short ball to Ringrose. Marty Sarvay was flung out of that breakdown, counter right from New Zealand, but Sexton has it, here's our key again. Ratalic goes in, nibbling. James Lowe, James Lowe, good footwork, but just holding on is his opposite number, Fyanga Anuku, who's having a whale of a game for New Zealand. Ringrose, Porter. Slow ball again for Ireland, Sexton. Keenan, Van der Fleer. Well read by Rico Ioane. Ireland get the penalty. Just around what the will you do here? Allowed to compete on it. Mark Zerf, I think they'll it? probably go to the corner. Here, this Irish unit. All the points. No, yeah, good option. As you said, two score game. If this is successful, the it's a try to even it up, convert a try us. to win it. He tried to get oh, out of there late, didn't he, Rico Ioane, but got caught in there. Here's the initial, well, earlier intercept from Aaron Smith. That one was OK, because he caught it with two hands. Yeah, go with two hands. Genuine attempt. And you're not going nice to put yourself in a difficult situation. I thought you were going to get up and have a run. This is the right call, though, from Ireland. Totally the right call. It's coming to the championship rounds now. Points on offer. Get it close. So Johnny Sexton, the shot clock, almost beat him at Nantes when they were playing against Tonga. Down to 10 seconds here.
Johnny Sexton's missed the penalty. Pressure. Amazing what pressure can do, even two. And guys such as Johnny Sexton with all their ultra experience. So a couple more changes now for Ireland coming onto the field. Joe McCarthy in the 19 jersey and Jack Conan in the number 20 jersey. What a moment for young Joe McCarthy. 22 years of age, just his, his fifth cap for Ireland. Youngest player in the squad. Henderson and Van der Fleer leave the field. Shannon okay. Frizzell gone, who's been monstrous for the All Blacks, replaced by Sam Whitelock. So New Zealand replacing a back rower with a second rower. Going big for the final quarter of this match. Here's Bundiaki. Yeah, so Sam Whitelock will go into the second row. Scott Barrett will go to six. Sexton to Ringrose. Porter. Keenan again. Long ball over the top to Jimmy O'Brien. There's the pace. Gets away from Lester Fanga Anuku. Mwanga has to get him on the second grab. And here's Joe McCarthy. Born in New York City. Ball's loose out of that breakdown. Jack Conan's there. Had his injury problems as Jack Conan. Torn ligaments in a foot, that's what kept him out for so long. McCarthy with a carry again. His Sexton chips over the top for himself. His run is slightly checked and taking the mark on the floor is Geordie Barrett. The defence from the All Blacks has amped up, stepped up quite significantly. The hits that they're putting in are just stopping the momentum of Ireland. Ireland, a lot of hands on hips, bent over. Not once in a very long time have they been tested like this. Well, how about the career of this guy? His 151st test. He could be the first player in World Cup history to win three titles if the All Blacks can go all the way at this tournament. Now we go, the last 20 minutes, the last quarter. The championship round, hasn't he? Stop, Added Jameson. a spark on the right hand One flank, Jimmy O'Brien. Another change coming to for Ireland uh, in James, Jameson Gibson Park coming off the field and Connor Murray onto the field for Ireland. Well, Connor Murray, the record 18th World Cup game for Ireland, equaling the great Paul O'Connell. Beautiful pass from James Lowe to Jimmy O'Brien. 61 minutes through. New Zealand still with an eight-point lead. Dan Sheehan. No way through for him. There's Murray to Sexton. Bundiaki. No, no, don't go in there. No, 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 it's not, it's not. Scott Barrett going for the chop tackle on McCarthy, but McCarthy rides it well. His Sexton again out the back to James Lowe, and now Hugo Keenan drifts inside, and Sam Kane doing what all good open sides do, tracking the ball. Porter, ring rose, it's on for Ireland here, can they shift it? Looking for quick ball here. Murray changes direction to Porter. Had big numbers over on the far side. Sexton, Lowe. Sam Kane again goes in looking for the steal. Finley Bealham, try scorer against Scotland last week. Here comes the Irish support. Willing their team on here. McCarthy again. Sexton. Keenan. James Lowe. Sexton back inside to Conor Murray. New Zealand want the decision. They're not going to get it. It goes Ireland's way. Affected the clear out. It just in a way allowed him on the ball. Well, he's called Sam Whitelock. I think they're affecting the clean out. I think Lester Fine, the Unlook, who was okay, 
over their pill. It's a two-score game. Ireland go to the corner, and Johnny asks for support from the crowd. Well, these big games, like anything, a moment. Ireland hot on attack. You see there, Rico Ioane got compromised. Hugo Keenan did well to hold on to their ball after the absolute massive hit from Sam Kane. Oh, it has been like this all day long, but this is the reason why Sam Kane is the skipper, why he's been chosen, why he's the number one. Moments like that in big games, he's the difference maker. There you go. Johnny Sexton willing the crowd to cheer them on here. Uh, changes to for the All Blacks. Williams and Newell on front row. Front row is De Groot and Lomax off. Also, a change coming on uh, with Aaron Smith off for the All Blacks and Lynette Brown is on the field. So that's on Lynette Brown. Often the finisher for New Zealand these days is 68 test match. Very experienced player out of the back line. Yeah, Anton Leonard Brown is a shutdown type of guy. Let's talk about that. His defence is absolutely brilliant. Great reader of the, of the ball. Let's talk about experience, Carl. With Connor Murray out there at scrum half for Ireland. He's, okay, you take the line. His connection with Johnny Sexton seconds to number. Okay, so 70th test match, those two have played together. Well, they need them to step up right now. Massive, massive moment in the context of this one. They throw to the middle, Whitelock contests. But Ty Byrne brings it down, and here comes the green machine. It's a penalty try. Collapsing them all was the call. And it's a yellow card as well for Cody Taylor. Again, New Zealand. Numbers on the field, can't have that. That's twice in this game. It was a great line out from Ireland. New Zealand rolled the dice, competed, got caught compromised, and they pay the price. They throw Sam Whitelock up. They don't get down in time. See, Cody Taylor gets to his knees and draws that down. You can't complain about that. You're almost better off conceding the try, aren't you? It's an automatic seven points, okay, and you're down to 14 again. Yeah, and apologies, guys. Aaron Smith is still on the field. It was Vanga Anuku who was on the field. And the wash-up with Cody Taylor as well. When we come to the line-out or scrum time, New Zealand will have to drop a player in that situation. Here's Bowden Barrett. One point, the difference. Once again, that's how he went to half-time. Still Island! What a test match this has been. Onside. What a quarter-final. The three-time World Cup winners New Zealand against the new number one ranked team in the world, Ireland. It has not let us down. But New Zealand are going to have to do it the hard way now. Cody Taylor in the sin bin. They've got to play keep ball. They've got to try and stay in Ireland's half. Samaiti Williams. But he knocked it off. Ireland smuggled that away, but just knocked the ball on there. Well, he was looking. Wasn't he? Referee Wayne Barnes to see if, if he was OK. Ronan Kelleher. There's another change for New Zealand. It'll be Dane Coles coming on for his 90th test cap. Well, because Cody Taylor's off, we've got to go to a scrum here. Someone needs to leave, so it looks like it's going to be Brody Retellick. They're going to keep Scott Barrett on, who can stay in the second row or play six. Now here's the ruck, ball's exposed, that's play on, yep, and luckily just knocks it on. Well, he's been very generous, wasn't he there, Rona Kelleher, looking at the referee for the decision. That'll be interesting.
referee so you can they're just having a bit of a conference the all black backs to see what they're going to call here do they send it downtown and pressure island with the kick do they try and run it where they could be exposed on the edge richie or it's actually Jordy barrett's going to come into first receiver here it's your time fellas it's your time it's your time Yeah, the referee's just saying to Ireland there, this is your time with the sin bin. See there, Geordie Barrett just talking to Will Jordan. The winger directly behind the scrum. Geordie Barrett can either hit it up and keep it close. He's very strong in that department. Will Jordan will be the decoy or the option on the inside or clean. I'd say Geordie Barrett runs straight at Johnny Sexton. Dane Coles, his first scrum at hooker. New Zealand again get the penalty. It swung around. And the decision goes their way for the third time in this match. Richie McCaw feeling the tension. I wouldn't be surprised if Geordie Barrett steps up for a shot here. Time off the clock. Or do you go deep into territory and use your line out more? I think you go for the shot and point. Fletcher Newell there on in the 18 shirt on the tight head side. Yeah, he was sorry, 18 years age really when he broke the Crusaders Academy squat record, 255 kilograms, if you don't mind, Carlton Anna. Well, he's going to need all of that. In a game such as this, a lot of people questioning why um, everyone just did you left. pick him? And I think he just showed right there. Look at this scrum no, pressure no go on. Forward. It just ran left. And that's why it's a penalty. Yeah. He called it Carlton Anna. Well, there's Keith Wood, he's back down a few scrums for Ireland, sitting next to Eddie Jordan. A-list is in tonight. And here's Geordie Barrett, this one closer than his first half long-range effort, but on the angle, this is a tough kick. No problem with the distance. Direction not quite there. Remains one point between them. But game management, that's what they have to do at the moment. Might we see the man on the right of shot there on the bench, Damien McKenzie, come on for a, a cameo. That might be later on right now for New Zealand. It's just about damage control. With Taylor still six minutes and a bit of change in the sin bin. Hugo Keenan climbs high. It's a penalty to New Zealand because Jordy Barrett was upended. Connor, top Connor has pulled number 12 off the ball. Again, go for the shot, go for the points, time off the clock. Ireland, right, not playing smart in the, these last couple of minutes here. No need for the situation. Yeah, See Connor Murray just wrapping his arms around, stopping the jump. Experienced players, and there's been a number of them tonight. Rupert have made massive mistakes. The whistles and jeers from the Irish support. And there's quite a lot for the All Blacks here in Paris tonight as well. We can be sure that Geordie Barrett's going to eat as much off this shot clock as he possibly can. Geordie Barrett. That one sails through. New Zealand 28, Ireland 24, approaching the final 10 minutes. Still another script to be written. Still far from over. Last 10 minutes, here we go. It's a pick up three points cut with a player in the sin bin. Just what New Zealand needed. Four points now between these outstanding rugby sides. Sam Kane into contact. 
Bowden Barrett kicks high. Sexton's underneath it for Ireland, and now he sets off Johnny Sexton. Stands in the tackle, offloads to Connor Murray. He kicks in behind. Bowden Barrett reads it well. Flicks it indoors dangerously. Leonard Brown's alert to it. Penalty Ireland. On the Aki is on his feet. Yeah, they just lost their feet, the supporting players from the All Blacks. Ireland coming over and counter-rucking brilliantly. Head number early. It was a nice kick, though, to put the All Blacks under pressure. And they've really done that on this right-hand side of the field. Ireland used the kick a couple of times to attack the All Blacks. Well, we saw what happened previously. With the line-out drive, it resulted in a penalty try. I reckon you can bet Set the house right. that they'll go for a similar result here, Ireland. Tyg Byrne brings it down once again. Ireland thundering towards the New Zealand line, That's but New nice. Zealand have halted it in its tracks. But the second shot for Ireland over the line. But no call. It's held up, mate. Held up is the call. It'll be a line drop out, New Zealand. I thought right there they were in. Oh, look at that. Geordie Barrett with the stop. Gets his knees underneath. And in between. Big play. Oh, that's a grandstand play from Geordie Barrett. He's just kicked a penalty at the other end. And holds up the island drive. Kalen Doris has knocked it on. Oh, he's been superb in this game. Kalen Doris under no pressure. He just had a little look, didn't he? Before securing the ball, went off his chest. Big, big momentum swing. He's been playing so well as well of like Kalen Doris. Incredulous looks from the island coaching staff. Kakwa believed that error. Now the pressure of never making a World Cup semi-final starts weighing on the minds. Now this doubt starts to eke in. The longer this goes on for Ireland, the more questions they, they start asking themselves for the All Blacks, the more confidence they get. And after holding up that drive, Jordy Barrett, he's going to join this scrum as well on the open side there he is so new zealand have a full eight in this scrum one minute less than one minute before the all blacks are back up to 15. Keep on. Keep on. and they edge forward as well driving forward new zealand they want the decision they're not going to get it moanga leonard brown's with him holds on does richie moanga Here's another Crusader. Scott Barrett led him to a sixth title earlier this year in Super Rugby. His brother Bowden at first receiver, Fletcher Newell. It's outstanding young tight head prop. Given big minutes here tonight, Artie Sarveya. Just 20 seconds left on the sin bin of Cody Taylor. Tackle, let go. Newell gets his knees to the floor and the tackler has to let go. Sam Kane just plays a bit of go slow. And just hold that. Dane Coles. And away. World Cup winner. No! Second man in. Aaron Smith will kick now. Sinbin's timed out. Next whistle. Cody Taylor will be back on. But Jimmy O'Brien's been bundled over the sideline. That's outstanding game management from the All Blacks. There's a Brody Retallick coming back onto the field now for New Zealand, and also Dalton Papali'i is on the field now as well. Outstanding is the word, Carl, to not concede after the yellow card, which of course resulted in a penalty try to score three of your own. Okay. That's the type of play that gets you through to a semi-final. New Zealand, I think now, will start playing for a penalty and try and get it out to seven points. Eek off the clock. We're getting less than five minutes. 
Ball thrown and Coles is staying out there. Retallick back on the field. Once. Aaron Smith gets the ball away just about and gets wrapped up by Johnny no, Sexton. Second go, second go. Ireland looking for a turnover here, desperate for possession. Approaching the final five okay, minutes, now, New Kevin. Zealand lead by four points. Adi Sarvea. 30th birthday today, try scorer in this quarter-final. Tamaiti Williams, this enormous young prop from the Crusaders in Canterbury. Moanga, Geordie Barrett. It's out of the way, thank you. You can see tonight why they were so desperate to get him back in this starting lineup. Moanga kicks in Mark, behind. Please, Mark, please. It's pretty heavy. Goal line drop. And Hugo Keenan will touch it down. Ball live. Just squeezing Ball them, aren't they? The All Blacks squeezing Ireland. Keeping okay, them deep okay, in their own second. half. You're taking, you're making a replacement, Green. What stopped? You're making a replacement. Well, Ireland, the only home nation yet to make it beyond a quarter-final. Seven it's times what is stopped, they have failed the to, okay. to win a top eight knockout game. Another change for Ireland Watch now. Up. Andrew Porter coming off and Dave Kilcoyne going onto the field. Line drop out. Bowden Barrett's going to attempt a long-range drop goal here. It's not going to make it. But the ball's taken a left turn. Just 22. trickles over the try line. They'll 22. touch it down for a 22 drop out. Now the game of chess has definitely started, hasn't it? Let's get the feeling there's one more chip to the right here in this game. Dave Kilcorn out there in 16. 17 rather, scored a try against New Zealand when they beat them in 2021. Will Jordan brings down the dropout. Four minutes to go, four points the difference. All about game management for New Zealand now. Moanga, Geordie Barrett, hit hard by Tyg Byrne. Savia comes away with it, gives it to Rico Ioani. Good tackle on him from Jimmy O'Brien. Big Tom 80 Williams here. 141 kilograms. Smith thinks about Barrett in the pocket, goes to Savea. No. The winner plays Argentina back here. No, Kaylin, you're in this stadium on Friday night. Aaron Smith. Kicks off the base, brilliantly taken by Jimmy O'Brien. And his World Cup debut's done nothing wrong since coming on. Sexton, now Ireland are going to play. They have to play. They're going to have to go long range with the ball in hand. Less than three minutes to go now. Finley Bealham. Murray to Sexton to Aki. This warrior at inside centre for Ireland. Kelleher with the inside pass. Sexton. Jack Conan. They need to play like barbarians now, don't they, Ireland? Big tackle coming in from Anton Leonard Brown. Sexton. Kalen Doris. Murray to Sexton again. Shifted on by Conan to Tyg Byrne. Two minutes to go in the quarter-final. Out the back to Ringrose. New Zealand want the turnover. Ireland still have it. McCarthy now. Sexton. Long ball over the top to James Lowe. Bowden Barrett's got him around the ankle. And Will Jordan comes in to get involved. They don't want to give away a penalty here, New Zealand. All about discipline. 90 seconds to go in the quarterfinal. Not now, not now. Sexton. Can the great man find a way? Conan O'Brien. Wouldn't that be a story in his World Cup debut? Sexton again. Kelleher offloads in contact to Keenan. 
Shot tackle on Conan. That was Whitelock. Jimmy O'Brien. Retallic tackles him. Final minute. 18 phases now for Ireland. Jack Conan in a bit of space. The number eight replacement holds on. McCarthy out the back to Ringrose. Through the hands of James Lowe. Arkey has it. New Zealand look for the steal on the floor. 30 seconds to go. Four points down Ireland. There's McCarthy once more. Tamati Williams with the chop tackle. Kelleher for Ireland. New Zealand do not want to give away a penalty here. Keenan, long ball out to Jimmy O'Brien, who switched wings. With through 80 minutes, we're on the final play. Ireland needs something special, or they're going out of the Rugby World Cup at the quarter-final stage again. Conan, balls loose. Sarvea is there for New Zealand, looking for the steal. Arnie Sarvea thought he'd won it there. Another chance for Ireland. Dave Kilcoyne at scrum half to Sexton. Doris, Ringrose, Keenan, James Lowe. Former Māori All Black, wouldn't that be a story? Sam Whitelock driving for New Zealand, got to be careful here. Dave Kilcoyne with the carry. Doris to Kelleher. Not now. Irish fans in their numbers willing on the men in green. Sexton, Ringrose, Gary Ringrose almost through. Second minute of out of time here. Here's James Lowe again. Gets the ball away to O'Brien. Players almost out on their feet. 30 phases for Ireland. Extraordinary finish to this quarter-final. Kalen Doris. Ioani looked for the steal. He was cleared away. Ty Byrne. 32 phases. Sexton. Arkey. An enormous defensive effort this for New Zealand. Jack Conan again. Leonard Brown with the tackle, needs to get out of the ruck area. Dave Kilcoyne. No! No! 35 phases. Sexton, Conan almost in front of him that pass. Richie Moanga looking for the steal. Kelleher again, he's hit hard by Retallick. New Zealand want the steal. White lock! Sam Whitelock! The double World Cup winner comes up with the steal for New Zealand.